Monsanto is the world's largest biotech firm, raking in over $11 billion in revenues in 2009, spending about $9 million lobbying, and producing chemical products and genetically engineered foods every one of us consumes every day. Since they're such a big part of our lives, you'd think they'd at least make a pretense of being concerned about the safety of their products. Let's look at their flagship product, Roundup herbicide. Roundup is the most popular weed killer in the world and is sold to farmers along with Monsanto's genetically modified corn, soy, cotton, and canola seeds. So farmers can spray their crops repeatedly and kill the weeds without also killing the crop. Most of us also use it in our gardens, yards, and on our sidewalks. Roundup was never actually approved by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. However, in 2000, Monsanto, no doubt out of concern for human and animal welfare, did sponsor a study from a consulting firm whose role is defined as, quote, protecting client interests and helping clients bring product to market. Shockingly, the study concluded that there was, quote, no potential for Roundup herbicide to pose a health risk to humans. This study is, of course, what Monsanto uses to support their claims that Roundup is safe. Unfortunately, the study itself looked at two of Roundup's active ingredients when used alone, not as they're actually used in the Roundup product, which is in a mixture with each other and other active chemicals. Worse, a 2008 study not funded by Monsanto found that Roundup formulations cause the death of human embryonic placental and umbilical cells in vitro even at very low concentrations. So yeah, clearly safe for human use, because really, who considers a pregnant woman and her unborn child human? Do some Googling on your own, and you'll find countless independent studies showing genetic, endocrine, reproductive, and organ damage in animals, as well as occasions where the EPA actually caught scientists deliberately and routinely falsifying test results at research labs hired by Monsanto. It's pretty hard to avoid Monsanto products entirely, but there are alternatives to Roundup, which I'll post at BiteStyle.tv. I, for one, don't want to continue to be Monsanto's lab rat, and you can be sure I'm going to warn my friends who are pregnant to stay far, far away. I'm Shelley Roach. Thanks for watching, and if you want more information about the research I cited in this video, go to BiteStyle.tv.